All right, welcome everyone to our July masterclass in our oil power class series. We are super excited for this one. Um, we were definitely on the same wavelength as doTERRA when we planned this one. We just didn't know it until yesterday. And we'll explain what that's all about in a little bit. That was like a little teaser to, to get you interested and, and hooked. But we are going to jump right in and talk all about your skin. So in the next 30 minutes, we're going to share lots of great info, some fun products, some DIYs, <coughs> even just some things that you can change in terms of your lifestyle and your habits to keep your skin looking fabulous and healthy. And, you know, I'll tell you, um, my Facebook and, and Instagram feeds today were filled with all of these people sharing pictures of themselves from like eight, 10, 12 years ago. And then today, and they all looked better today. So it's like this awesome demonstration that we really can age backwards. And the more I learn about this, it's a real thing, you guys, by the way, like this aging backwards, there's like Harvard medical school people talking about it. It's not like just crazy oil people and it works. It's totally legit. So we're going to give you some great info. That's going to help you get started on that process today. So kicking things off before we get into any essential oils or supplements or anything else, we have to remember that we are what we eat. And if we can eat the rainbow, right? There are so many important vitamins and nutrients that are so critical to healthy skin. So in general, healthy fats, all those omegas are gonna be great for more supple skin. They're gonna help to reduce inflammation. Vitamin E is gonna be really protective against oxidative damage. And vitamin C is actually necessary for the body to fully utilize the vitamin E, right? So those two work together. So you get the most value from vitamin E when you have it with vitamin C. Hey, look, avocados have both. How cool is that, right? Plus vitamin C is also needed for our body's own natural collagen production. Pretty cool, right? Zinc is going to be great for wound healing. So having the skin heal itself, beta carotene is going to be converted into vitamin A in the body. So it's what we call a pre-vitamin and it's also going to act as natural sun protection. So how cool is that? By eating things high in beta carotene, our body is able to better protect itself from the rays of the sun. And we'll talk more about the sun in a little bit. Lycopene, which is another carotenoid like beta carotene, um, is also going to be really protective, help especially with wrinkles. Um, and resveratrol, which you may have heard of because of red wine, it's also in grapes, by the way, um, is an antioxidant, right? And so it's going to be really protective against free radicals and other signs of aging. So the more that we can be eating the rainbow, right? All of these different colors of foods. And obviously what's on this slide is only a small sampling of the examples. There's plenty of other foods that are high in all of these different vitamins. That is gonna be the first step in taking care of our skin. And of course, remembering as this cute little animation on the bottom of the screen is doing, to be drinking lots and lots of water because staying hydrated is super important. Now, if we're not always perfect with what we're eating or we want to enhance that or we even just recognize that <coughs> excuse me that our food doesn't always have the full spectrum of what we need or the bioavailability that we need we have some great supplements that we can turn to right so we have the lifelong vitality pack that you see over on this side of the screen and we've got those fatty acids that we talked about, right? Those omegas that are going to be so important for um, reducing inflammation, for helping with the wrinkles and overall skin health. Lots of those different vitamins 
that we discussed are here in that food nutrient complex. So if you're worried that you're not quite getting enough from just maybe eating fruits and veggies and all of that kind of stuff, we can get that from our food nutrient complex, our microplex, and then all of those awesome antioxidants and um, you know things that are going to to kind of slow that effect of aging, we're going to find in the alpha CRS. So the lifelong vitality is going to be a great foundation. And then we can enhance that with the turmeric, which is going to be great for um, our inflammatory response as well as the yarrow palm, which we will be hearing more about as we go, but also really great for our cellular health and the um, appearance of our skin. So with that, I will pass things over to the amazing Trisha to between yelling at her. <laughs> stop oh. yelling at her kids and start chatting with us about healthy hydration for our All skin. Right. I'm super excited to talk about this um, because I love skincare stuff. Um, so first let's start, talk about what doTERRA already has for us. Cause there's, I feel like there's different groups of people within doTERRA, right? There's the group of people that just do not want to even consider DIY. Just give me the stuff that's going to work and all pre-done and ready to go. They have that. And it's the perfect balance of botanicals and science, right? doTERRA does that really well in marrying, um, the plant science with the science science. So if you are a purist, like do not let any chemical touch your body, these probably aren't going to be for you. And we're going to talk about what you can use your oils to make for yourself in the second part of this. But for the people that want cleaner skincare, they don't want just the CVS, you know, drugstore stuff or the beauty, not beauty counter, but like the counters of beauty stuff at the mall. Um, you know, we want something cleaner. We want to make a better choice, but we're also not going to spend time making a DIY. These are the products for you. And doTERRA definitely has something for every skin type. The Virage is for your combination skin to normal to normal skin. Um, I think it's good for all ages, really. It's just a great, very clean line of products. And their moisturizer is very light. It's great for summertime, springtime when the weather is warmer. And that's why I, when I use it, it's because it's much lighter. The HD Clear is going to be for that oily type of skin that still needs to be moisturized, but it tends to be more oily and get more breakouts. So the HD clear line is for that. Great for our teenagers that are going through all that stuff, but still to keep their skin moisturized. Um, we have an anti-aging and hydrating cream which are definitely getting in deeper. We're, I love these in the winter time. It's heavier, it's a thicker cream. It definitely feels like it's on my face. So I use those in the winter time. The brightening gel is great. Now that's an old bottle. It's been updated into a different um, bottle, but the brightening gel is great for age spots and discolorations in your skin and just giving you that better, like kind of plumped up glow. And then the Virage, the Immor Immortel hydrating serum is what one that I absolutely love. I use that every day and I'm going to tell you how I use it. So what's the, why I talk about hydration? My kids are going crazy. Um, it repairs uneven skin tone by keeping our skin hydrated, uh, eliminates age spots, reduces appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and can heal damaged skin. So moisturizing our skin every day, morning and night is pretty important. And we have some amazing oils that do the job as well. So I do like the DIY stuff. I do a combination of all, all this good stuff. Um, so what I love to do, one of the things I like to do is to take the hydrating serum, the Immortel hydrating serum. I open it up and I kind of doctor it up. I open it up and I add in some yarrow palm and some blue tansy because um, I love those two for my skin anyway. And then I just kind of shake it up and then I've got the benefit of use. I use this as the base basically for my uh, serum. Another one that I use is, I know it's not always available, but the sensitive skin carrier oil. I just take that bottle. I add my yarrow palm. Blue tansy, frankincense, and geranium are usually my go-to. You know, everyone's going to ask me how much. I kind of just eyeball what I want to do in that day. I am sorry. I do. Um, geranium and frankincense are, I have found very good for my skin. And I also do very well with blue tansy and yarrow palm. Yarrow palm under the eyes here is every day. Everybody should be doing it. You will see such a difference. I almost take it like a wrinkle filler. And I just fill in all the lines across my face with my yarrow palm. And it plumps them up. And my face looks so hydrated and ready to go. 
Um, so we can, and I just listed some other oils there that are great, depending on your skin type, reach out to one of us. We can kind of guide you as to what your skin type might benefit from. Copaiba, turmeric, cedarwood, sandalwood, myrrh. These are all great choices for your skin. Next slide for me. Guys, I'm still talking. <laughs> Okay, this is also some fun stuff, skin toning. Um, this is newer to me, but I've become obsessed with it and addicted to it. So I wanted to show you, those are my tools on the screen there, my little facial dry brush. I do this before the shower and I simply do little circles, kind of going inward, for starting from the middle and going out all over my face. And then I just do up my um, neck, this is great. The benefits of dry brushing, and you should do your whole body, but I'm just kind of focusing on the face for this class. Um, but you should dry brush your whole body in an upward motion towards your heart, always going towards your heart. Um, it increases circulation, improves lymphatic function, and exfoliates the skin. So that's why I like to do it before the shower. Some people choose to do it after. And then after the shower, after I put my moisturizer on my face, that was a yell you didn't need to hear. Um, after the shower, I put, no, I am done. Um, I put my moisturizer on my Yara palm and my moisturizer. I kind of pat it all over my face and I take my gua sha. This is the doTERRA one. I love it, but be careful with it because I broke my old one and they break pretty easily. These are rose quartz. Um, so they stay pretty cold, which is great for your skin when you have puffiness in the morning. I love to go right underneath my eyes there. And now you don't want to go, I'm trying to show you, you don't want to go perpendicular to your skin, okay? That's not going to work. You have to put, do this almost that it's um, parallel with your skin. And you're going to put your elbow, elbow up. That's the, that's the position, ladies. You got to have the elbow up. And you pull your skin and you pull gently up, upward. And what you're doing is as you're going upward, then you're going to drain. These are the lymphatic drainages here. Then you're going to go right down that spot. And you, a lot of times we'll swallow because that lymphatic fluid is literally moving down. And then you go down here to your collarbone. So I do that kind of all over here under the eyes. Um, I don't like to use my gua sha on my, my forehead, but then I do my neck and believe it or not, you do the neck upward, upward and then over and then down to that drainage, up and then down to that drainage. Um, and again, you're doing it parallel with the skin, almost pulling it. And it shouldn't ever hurt. It should feel very gentle. But what you're doing is moving that built up lymph fluid and getting it so it doesn't settle in your face. This is relieves tension, increases circulation, softens wrinkles. You will absolutely, I challenge you to do like a 30 day challenge. You will 1000% see a difference in your skin. It's absolutely a given. Soften wrinkles, reduce puffiness and inflammation, improve lymphatic function. And then I take my roller. I like to use the roller over my forehead and I just go up and out towards my, the rest of my face. Sometimes I'll do over my eyebrows too, like here and then right under. And again, it's rose quartz, so it stays nice and cool, reduces that puffiness. You know, like it's instead of putting the cucumbers on your eyes. So that's the tools that I use for skincare. If you have any questions at all, please reach out. I'm done. All right, it's my turn to talk. Well, I really enjoyed that, Trisha, because I didn't yeah. know that that thing was called gua sha, and uh, nor did I really know it. how to use it. So Seriously. now I would like to try because I have seen videos on the YouTube, as Elena refers to it, of people like automatically looking like their neck is thinner and stuff. And I'm like wondering if that's real, you know? I'm like, no! It's not true, but I'm going to try it. I am going to try it. We have some, we have one of those things somewhere. Anyways. All right. So I want to talk to you guys today about how the sun affects our skin and how important it is to make sure that you're doing exactly what Rachel was talking about in the beginning, which is like staying nourished and making sure you stay hydrated because the sun can really, you know, cause some damage if we're not taking care of our skin. Now it's really important. I love that natural vitamin D and all of the wonderful things that happen to us when we are exposed to sun. So, you know, if I go out for a run and I know that I'm going to be in like, you know, some somewhat shaded area and I'm going out for like 45 minutes, the only place I actually apply sunscreen is my face. If I know I'm going to be exposed to the sun all day long, I wear natural sunscreen. And thankfully, 
you know, doTERRA has come out with their own line of sun Yay. products, which is fantastic, which will be back in stock soon, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> um, but if not, you know, check back with Rachel too, because she's got popular. amazing recipes for that stuff. But I am one of the people that Trisha was referring to about the DIY things. We um, I, you know, I will do it out of necessity and some things I do like to do, but sun stuff is too involved for me. There's lots of stuff that you got to do. But anyways, this so I'm, so hard. I'm actually pretty happy with the doTERRA sun products. I like the stick. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys have gotten, um, gotten those products, but the, the stick is extremely convenient and that's been really great for the kids at sporting events because it's really easy to apply mm -hmm. and I just you know a couple swipes and they're done but um if you are looking for an after sun solution for for right now before this new spray comes out this is a great recipe and I have used this before because this is easy I can put things in a bottle like bug spray I can do you know after sun spray the spray salad spray. dressing salad dressing I anything that goes in that. a jar or a bottle that's non viscous right. I guess I but maybe that's the word anyways sure. right yeah, yeah. wait that anyways no. moving on but this is a really great recipe and you can actually add some different oils too if you prefer but I like to do this one in a four ounce spray bottle mm -hmm. and I use one ounce of pure aloe, one ounce of coconut oil, um, fractionated. Okay. Make sure it doesn't congeal. You know, not that we have that problem in the summer really. Um, but then you want to put in two ounces of witch hazel. And then I do anywhere from five to 10 drops of each of these oils. So five to 10 drops of peppermint and five to 10 drops of lavender. Sometimes I will put in Roman chamomile also. Mm. And that is super soothing. Um, so you wanna mix that well. And, and it's not even if you're just sunburned, like your skin still needs that soothing after sun exposure. If you're a great tanner, good for you. This will help to maintain your tan and help your skin to heal too okay so make sure that you use an after sun spray of some sort um, very very helpful but you need to stay hydrated if you're going to go out in the sun or you're spending a day at the beach i know that you know a lot of people like to haul up with their coolers and you know like have some wine have some beer especially if you're drinking alcohol i, I personally don't drink alcohol but um it dehydrates you so severely. So when you are in the sun, make sure that you drink like two glasses of water for every alcoholic beverage you consume. Stay hydrated. It will help you probably more than mm. a lot of things. Stay mm -hmm. hydrated, hydrated, hydrated. Even if you're not drinking alcohol, stay hydrated. Drink water all day, okay? All right, let's flip the slide. Great. All right, so I think I talked. You did a great job. I think so. Yeah. So yeah, you got that natural sunscreen. Um, we want to make sure that we have some kind of shade, all right? Also, mm -hmm. I, I'm a shade person. I need shade. So I bring my own shade if I don't have we do. a tree, but we have lakes here, so no problem. That Usually there are trees. Find yourself some shade. Give yourself a break every once in a while. <laughs> all that stuff. Anyways, on to Elena. All right. So I'm going to talk about your skin and your emotions. Now, it is really important to always comb in on your skin when you're taking care of it. And when you use your oils with intention, the effects of it just, they skyrocket. So it's like, oh, willy nilly, and I can just put it on and like, whatever, and yay, it smells good, and off I go. If you take just an extra second of just saying, I love my arm, I want my arm to be happy and, and wonderful, and you like love your skin, your emotions are going to go so much higher. And you do this like after, after the guasha stone, and like you're just like loving every part of your body. And more love that you put into your body and into your energy, you're just going to be happier. And guess what? You're going to walk out of the house and you're going to glow with all of the extra products and everything that you use. This is just energetic. 
And isn't that so easy? Now I made this list of oils because these are all heart healing oils. And what's heart healing oils? They're love oils, rose and lavender, cinnamon, bergamot, and lime, helichrysum, neroli, jasmine, melissa, tangerine, all of these oils are really going to help you to have that self-love care. And what is self-love? Loving yourself, honoring yourself, being kind to yourself, going easy on yourself, trusting yourself, and believing in yourself. And if you did that for yourself every single day, your whole world would change. You add in your oils and it changes even more and faster, okay? So what you need to do is take the oils, maybe a little bit of lotion and just, I love myself. I love myself. I love myself because guess what? When your emotions are very high and you have a lot of negativity around you, like not loving yourself, being really mean to yourself, it's going to show up in your skin right away. It's going to show up in, in like pimples on your skin and like rashes on your body. I'll tell you a quick story. I had a terrible reaction to negativity a long time ago. Mm. I got hives on my back yeah. because this person was so negative to me and I'm protecting myself all the time energetically. And she still got through with the negativity and there were hives on my back. And Liz was was a witness to that. I and was. That was just She's not allowed in the house. Negative anymore. emotions. So if you just love yourself and take care of yourself on that deeper energetic level, you're going to have a much better life in general. Could I add just a note of caution? Yeah. Um, not about any of your energetic wonderment, because I think that's all wonderful and terrific. Yeah. Um, when you are using the cinnamon. bergamot, Oh, yeah. wild orange. Right. I mean, don't go out and have a sun party with those oils. Okay. And I'll tell you why Lime. those are oils that promote photosensitivity. They make you more sensitive to the sun's rays. Right. Okay. And sun actually I do, I will tell you that I was wearing bergamot on a diffuser bracelet, a lava stone bracelet. And I was in Florida. It was right here on my wrist. I didn't think anything of it completely didn't even like cross my mind that on my lava stone diffuser bracelet, I should be concerned. I was out in the sun at a ranch and I got a burn all the way around my hand and I didn't know that it was the bergamot. So I kept putting it on my, diffu on my diffuser bracelet and kept repeating that because it was, you know, mm -hmm. clearly guys, it takes me a while, you know, to get things. I can't, can't just learn it the first time, you know? So anyways, be exercise caution when using citrus oils and when you're using oils that have a hot, them, a hot reaction. Yes. yes. And if you need more information about that, anyone of us could help you. That's right. That for sure. Use the bergamot and wild orange at night. It's a really good solution. Like if you, love, if you love those oils and I do, I love bergamot. I diffuse it often. I put it on myself often. Just put it on at night. If you're planning on a beach day. <laughs> What do we have next? Oh, there you go. The surprise! Surprise! It's surprise! <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> did, did you think you were going to get out of July without a BOGO? <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, this is perfect for what we're talking about. Too. Uh, it, doTERRA knew. He, they called us and they said, well done. And here you go. That's right. That we're, we're right. right on. I love that. these Yarrow Kong caps. Oh, she really does. I, you go ahead and tell them what the thing is. So yeah. it's going to be by the Yarrow Kong oil. Okay. And it comes in a 30 milliliter bottle. So it's double the size of that regular 50 milliliter bottle. And what we use the Yarrow Kong for, Trisha already spoke about it. You put it on your face and, you know, all of the, the, the lines and everything, they just kind of disappear. But, but you I think also, hmm? that is internal use too. I, I was just going to say I that. Okay. Yes, you can also put a drop under your tongue when you're not feeling well and your body- it's A lot of antioxidants. It, it just, it sucks it up and it's, it's just good so stuff. amazing. I swear by those capsules, guys. I swear yes. by these capsules. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. I use them religiously all throughout the winter, yeah. especially. Yeah. 
it really makes a tremendous difference in my skin Stay well. and my physical health and well-being. Yeah. Started to also your hormones. They are so amazing for balancing your hormones. Well, and actually you yeah. did very well with the Yara Punk capsules as, as the advice of a very high up doTERRA leader. When we had, I can say it here, you know, the C word um, in the fall, we <laughs> those. And I firmly believe that's what got us over the hump. That was like the changing point when we started the Yara Palm capsules, they really helped with accident support. Mm -hmm. Mm. And then you get that for free. So you buy the bottle of oil and you get the capsules and the brightening gel that Trisha spoke about earlier for free. I mean, like, like, thanks. Happy summer to me. Right. Yeah. Happy summer to you. I love it. Yeah. An $8 value. Yeah. And that's going to be until the 29th. So today through the 29th. I got mine already. Isn't the Yarrow Palm also in that skinny jeans recipe? It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That was, I, I, I did that yeah, too. That I did, was, it was a couple of pounds. Yeah, that was fun. A, co- a little bit of caution while using Yarrow Palm internally. Rachel knows my story. Yarrow Palm, there were many of us at the beginning when it first came out, using it internally daily. Mm. It is very powerful in an emotional shift and unearthing darker things inside you. Um, so it's, it's really powerful and you just have to be aware of it. If you wanted to start a daily routine of Yara Palm internally, I'm happy to chat with you about it and how I went through that because I, it really affected me and it was all good things in the end, but it was being aware of what it was moving in me emotionally. Yeah. It's a powerful detoxifier, right? And so part of those, that toxicity in your body is sometimes emotional, right? So Yarrow Palm is, is a really, really super power oil. I actually posted a graphic in our oil power community group earlier with an incredible list of all of the different things that Yarrow Palm can be used for that was compiled by the uh, absolutely amazing Laura Jacobs. Um, and the list, it's like your mind is blown, like everything from blood pressure to cholesterol, to hormones, to, you know, blood toxicity to like all sorts of things. It's really, really amazing what this oil can do. All right. Look at that. You guys, we did it 30 minutes. (gasps) That was amazing. Thank you to all of our guests who are on with us tonight. We're so glad to have you and uh, we will see you next time. I'm going to stop the recording.